I have a Samsung Galaxy A12 here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. Okay. Now this is only the setup process. If you want to know how to put in the uh, SIM and or SD card, look at the description for the link uh, below. Okay. Because after this setup, I'll also put in the uh, SIM card and the uh, SD card as well. Anyway, so from here, you're at Let's Go. Go ahead and tap the down arrow. Go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with the US United States here. Tap on Next. Here's some info that you can take a look to get started. You can go ahead and look at the details on these, but you will have to eventually agree to all of them to proceed. So, except for like the optional ones, like down here, you don't have to, okay? It doesn't matter. For me, I'm fine with all of them, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Next, right there. Next, let's go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. You can do it now or you can do it later. If you do it now, then you'll, you'll get all the update and all that if there is one, okay? So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, connect to my home Wi-Fi network now. I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. After you put in your password, go ahead and tap on connect. Wait for it to connect. Okay, it's connected. It says connect right there. Let me go ahead and tap on next. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. Uh, you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. If you want to proceed with that, click on next. For me, I'm going to do a clean slate here. I'm going to tap on don't copy. Checking info. You can go and sign into your Google account, basically your Gmail right now, or you can always do it later. Okay, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do this later. I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Google services. This is up to you. You can toggle these on or off if you wish. Use location, allow scanning, uh, send usage and diagnostic data. That's up to you, okay? For me, I'm fine with leaving all of these checked. I'll go ahead and tap on Accept. And here we're gonna set up a password. You can always skip this, but of course it's advised to make a password now. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a PIN, a four-digit PIN right now, and then later on, uh, I'll probably do fingerprint, face recognition later. But for now, I just want my PIN in here. Go ahead and choose a four-digit PIN. I'm gonna tap on Continue. I'm going to input my four-digit PIN again to confirm. So I'm going to tap on OK. So now I have a uh, four digit pin password. Sign into your Samsung account. That's up to you. You can go ahead and sign in now. If you have one, you can create an account or you can go ahead and skip it. I have a Samsung account, but I'm probably not even going to sign in with this phone here. I'm going to skip that. We're all done. We're going to tap on finish. Tap on finish. Discover your new favorite app. You can go ahead and continue from there, or you can simply go with no thanks. I'm not interested in any of that. And there we go. Okay, so give this one second to load up now. And voila, we're a business. Pretty simple. Good luck.